Hey guys, welcome to Afro 10. Money laundry is a serious offense that has rocked the political landscape in Nigeria. Today we are shining a spotlight on 10 Nigerian politicians who has faced allegations and legal battles related to this fraudulent practice. Coming at number 10 is Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois has released documents holding Bola Tinubu's encounter with American authorities over allegations of narcotic trafficking and money laundering. Tinubu, who is the president elect and former Lagos governor, has come under intense public ridicule and political attacks for his role in an early 1990s drug trafficking case in Chicago. Although he hasn't said anything, Nigerians have insisted that the presidential elect should come claim on his involvement in the case, which saw him forfeit up to $460,000 to the US authorities in 1993. Currently, this case is still in court and we are all waiting anxiously for the court's verdict. At number 9 is Onanefe Ibori. James Onanefe Ibori was another convicted felon who was a former governor of Delta State after he was convicted on fraud and money laundry charges in the United Kingdom. Ibori was sentenced to 13 years imprisonment for money laundry by a London court after pleading guilty to the charges. Ibori was sentenced after admitting to fraud of nearly $50 million, which the judge described as probably ridiculously low going by the standards set by Nigerian politicians. At the sentencing hearing, the prosecution told the court how Ibori owns six properties outside Nigeria and worth 6.9 million euros at a time he was being paid 4,000 euros a year as state governor in Delta State region. The property in London included a flat in St. John's Wood, a house in Hampstead, and one in Regent's Park. He also had a 3 million euro mansion in South Africa and properties in Texas and in Dorset, near to where his children attended private school. Ibori also bought a fleet of luxury cars and in three years ran up to 920 thousand euros on his American Express Cotillon card, a card only available to the super rich. The Metropolitan Police also estimated that Ibori embezzled 157 million euros of Nigerian public funds. It was also discovered that as governor of Delta State, Ibori had ranked up credit card bills of $200,000 a month and owed a fleet of armored Range Rovers and was arrested while negotiating to buy a private jet. At number 8 is Oji Kalu. Oji Kalu served as Abia State Governor from May 1999 to May 2007. Kalu was convicted by the Lagos Division of Federal High Court in 2019 and sentenced to 12 years imprisonment for 7.65 billion naira fraud, among other multiple sentences ranging from 3 years to 5 years on 27 counts. Mr. Kalu was already serving a 12-year jail term for the offense when the Supreme Court in May 2020 nullified the proceedings leading to his conviction. At number 7 is Lucky Benedion. Former governor of Edo State, Lucky Benedion made history as the first Nigerian ex governor to be convicted of looting public funds and money laundering. Shortly after his tenure in 2008, the EFCC dragged him to court on a whooping 142 count of corruption amounting to $24 million using front companies. During the trial, Benedion entered a plea bargain with the commission and refunded a fraction of the amount he was said to have embezzled. He was later to be released on the strength of the plea bargain. Again. At number 6 is Peter Owan Boshi. Delta State Senator Peter Owan Boshi also falls into the category of Nigerian leaders who had problems with the law and had to be sent off to prison for theft of 3.6 billion naira. The senator was sentenced to 7 years imprisonment by the Lagos Division of the Court of Appeal for money laundry after it was established that he has used his companies Golden Touch Construction Projects Limited and Suming Electrical Limited to launder money. Owan Boshi, who represented Delta North Senatorial District in the National National Assembly was convicted on a two-count charge of fraud and money laundry. He was prosecuted following several allegations of fraud and misappropriation of funds leveled against him. While the case was still ongoing, Uwamboshi defected from the People's Democratic Party PDP to the All Progressive Party APC, but that did not save him from being handed a jail term. At number 5 is Farouk Lawan, former member of the House of Representatives and chairman of House Ad Hoc Committee on Fuel Subsidy Probe, also got his hands burnt when he was sentenced to 7 years imprisonment in 2021 over a $3 million bribery scandal that rocked the committee. Lawan was convicted by a high court of Federal Capital Territory after he was found guilty of receiving the sum of $3 million from the chairman of Zenon Petroleum and Gas Limited, Femi Otedola, to give his company a clean bill of health in the first subsidy probe the House of Reps initiated in 2012. The court found Lawal guilty of fraud, soliciting and receiving bribes as well as money laundering.
Coming at number 4 is Jolly Unyami. In 2018, the former governor of Taraba State, Jolly Unyami, was sentenced to 14 years in prison for diverting 1.6 billion naira from the Taraba State Treasury to a company called Sama Global for the purchase of office equipment and stationaries that were delivered. He was also accused of fraudulently enriching himself and abusing public trust. His sentence was reduced to 12 years when he filed an appeal with the Nigerian Court of Appeal. Well, he was pleased with that decision, so he filed an appeal with the Supreme Court of Nigeria, challenging the jurisdiction of the Federal Capital Territory High Court and requesting a reduction of the 12-year sentence, as well as the $100 million fine imposed by the Court of Appeal of Nigeria. The appeal against the imposition of a fine was successful at the Supreme Court. However, the Supreme Court upheld the 12-year prison sentence. At number 3 is Joshua Darie. In 2018, the former governor of Plato State was sentenced to 14 years imprisonment for diverting 1.126 billion naira public funds. He was found guilty of 15 out of 23 counts leveled against him by the EFCC. It was said that the ex-governor misappropriated forms and breached the public truth and the oath of office. On appeal to the court of Nigeria, the court reduced the sentence to 10 years. In April 2022, the Council of State led by President Muhammadu Buhari approved the pardon of Darie. At number 2 is Albert Bassi. The senator representing Akwa Ebom, Northeast Senatorial District at the National Assembly, Albert Bassi Akpam, ran into troubled waters towards the end of 2022 when a federal high sitting in Uyo sentenced him to 42 years imprisonment for money laundering. Senator Bassi was convicted after he was found guilty of a six count charge of money laundering leveled against him. The EFCC had dragged Senator Bassi to the court on an allegation of receiving Veco valued at 204 million naira as a bribe from from companies linked with Olajide Omokeri, a contractor who executed a 3 billion naira contract for the governor of Akwa Ibom State while he was Commissioner of Finance and Chairman of the Interministerial Direct Labor Coordination Committee. Finally, at number one is James Bala in Gilari. James Bala in Gilari is another ex governor who was convicted for looting public funds. And Gilari was the governor of Adamawa State for only seven months until May 2015 when he was convicted of awarding a contract for the acquisition of 25 vehicles at a cost of 167 million naira without following due process. And Gilari was found guilty of five of the 17 charges leveled against him and was sentenced to five years imprisonment without an option of a fine. His conviction was was however short-lived as it was to be acquitted by the court of appeal so if you enjoyed the video kindly click the subscribe button and like then click on the end screen by your left to watch the top 10 most corrupt politicians in nigeria